Hello, uh, this is a quick video on a package I just published called Slate Entity Labeler. It's built on Slate.js, which is um, a library to create a text editor. And they have a lot of nice APIs and programs to do nested hierarchies and everything, which works out really well for this application. And here is the website. It's on the running on the GitHub uh, repo. And there's a demo right up front that you can play with. You see uh, the same example that's from the um, default Lewis page, which is over here on the right where it says two tickets from Cairo to Seattle. So I created something similar in the demo since this is a pretty good application for why this component would be needed. Um, so you can see here are the entities. They're labeled. You can click them to remove them. If you select text, notice I only select the C and the K of tickets, but when I release, it will auto expand to the token boundaries, which is the entire word for this particular language. And yeah, we can select a new entity, um, just create a test entity. And now that token is labeled as a new entity, which we created inline, which is pretty nice. We can uh, remove all of them, and you see uh, down below in the list of labels, uh, this is the name of the entity, the start and end index, and the value of it. And we can remove these and click reset. There's also a read-only mode if uh, your application has a need to display labels but not let users edit them. Notice if I check the read-only box, now I can still... Um, select text just as if text was disabled but I can't uh, remove any labels or add any so that's a nice feature um, yeah it's pretty easy to use it's uh, all the docs are online the philosophy is that it's modeled similar to regular react controlled inputs as if you are forcing the value of the input to be something and anytime someone changes a state you will take that state and then reset the value is kind of this um, cyclic or loop. So we follow that same pattern here. Um, you, the parent component, will supply the text, the available entities the user can choose from, and the current labels. Or this is you think of as like the value that's changing. None of these other ones generally will change. And then every time the user uh, reselects or labels or removes a label, you get this change event. Uh, which gives you the new list of labeled entities and you reset that field. Uh, if you're interested in the details, you can look at uh, how the tokenization works, um, how we take the tokenized text and existing labels and convert that into uh, the representation that Slate needs in order to actually render the text. And of course, you can go directly to the GitHub page if that's what you want. And there's code here and uh, just other links. Thanks.